see if it goes through. There we go. Can you see us? <laughs> Are we here? What's, What's going happening? on, everyone? A little different tonight because uh, we're trying a new form of streaming. We're trying to take all of the work off of the computer and putting it on an external piece. So. No graphics, no nothing because- Just boom, we're here. I've been trying to figure it out and I haven't had a time to do it. So. Just hello, howdy, hey. I need my glasses though because like we have a different way to read the comments and I can't see them. Well, I can start saying hi to people while you yeah, do grab your glasses. Ahead. Hello, sorry that we have no music to start with. Gail is here, hello. Make sure I see, everybody can hear us. I see, oh, can you hear me? Can you hear us? I can't like, I don't know how to scroll up. I'm just trapped and Joe's gone, as per usual. All right, so Stephanie's here. Hello, Stephanie. Heath says, hey -o. Um, Wright family is here. Hello, Wright family. An uh, Angie is here. Hi, Angie. Excited. Now, I can't scroll up. Why not? Because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. It's, you only have that little one right there. Oh, okay. That's it. All right. Can everybody hear us? Can everybody? Unable to connect to chat, please try again. We're not even in it the chat. It says we have an excellent connection. Excellent, except for you're not allowed in. <laughs> every every single time, right? Let's try this. Let's see. How is everybody's Thursday night going? I see more peoples. There we go. There we go. Joe, you know you can do overlays with the A10 Mini Pro. Come on. Uh, I can, except for I'm having an issue. So Rachel and Caitlin had to use it today to film something, and so it was Board left on all day. And so for some reason now, I had a battery go dead on a camera, and for now, for some reason, the software will not recognize that I have something plugged in. The hardware does, it'll switch the different cameras, but on the software, no matter what I do, it's got two things. If I unplug from like camera A slot and plug it into camera four, it still thinks that there's something plugged into camera A. So I did something I called Black Magic, and they're like, we don't know what you did, good luck. It sounded like me and Caitlin did something, but we did not. He told us to push this button and then this button, and that is the only buttons that we pushed, and then we walked away from it. Yeah, now you cannot do animated overlays with the ATM A10 Mini, but I have another way around it, but I'm having, you have to down, downstream key and that kind of stuff. And I only hear Charlie Brown's teaching. I haven't had time to, to, to play with it. We only, start, we only set this up yesterday because, or last night, because there was an issue with some stuff. Yeah, it's fun. New stuff. I know it's gonna ultimately be really awesome, yeah. but there's always like these growing pains and I don't want any of that. I don't, I cannot stand transitions. Like I, I'm excited when you get a new house, but I don't like the process of setting up that new house. Like maybe we just live in this old house forever because I don't wanna have the process of moving. <laughs> uh, Defense Wiz says, finally got to catch you guys live. New Hello. to the channel, have Welcome. never caught up. Yes, the sound well, is on. Well, we're sorry. <laughs> Welcome and we're sorry. <laughs> So uh, we are not, if anybody has a chance, just head over and like put a post in Facebook that I did not get a chance to go in and change all of the streaming software. So we're not on Facebook tonight. We're only doing YouTube. I had so much work to do today because Anthony wanted to take tomorrow off because it's his birthday. Which I feel, that's fair. I think that's okay. Look at your face. Like, no, there are, there are no birthdays in the Stauffer family. Only work. <laughs> But yeah, it's but a we have to thing. go get a pig. Yeah, which you know it's gonna be a terrible day for that pig. <laughs> you think you're you're having a tough time? <laughs> you could be a pig today. So hey, by the way, if you're new to our channel, I'm Joe and I'm Rachel, and we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We, we sort of live stream. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. That's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Now we are elbow deep in glitter. We I are see that. covered in glitter. 
because the glitter probably screwed up my software. I know. I'm so sorry. It probably is that. It's probably it's probably ultimately my fault. But we were taping the last week of Boredom Busters. I cannot believe that we have gotten through the season. We decided we were going to do a craft. At first, it was every single day of the work week, and then it became Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we realized there was a light at the end of the tunnel, and soon we'll be, we will be returning to an actual building for church. Yep. And and so now... Cat's here. Now that we know July 11th, we're going back to church, we we're like, we just have one more week of crafts. Yep. But it's been a good season, and my whole goal was, can we just be here? For right. people. And that that's I feel like that's our, our life's mission. I just wanna be here. If someone looks up and they're like, I don't know, you know, it, it, are we gonna be okay? All right, Rachel's still there. <laughs> you know, like that's there's something about that. I just want them whether they do the crafts or not, to just know every morning, like, I'm here. And it's the same thing. Like we're here. So I'm glad that you're here and we're here and we're gonna keep doing this. Let's just keep going. Krista wants my mug. Oh, you're uh, I Jack. Got, I got this at one of the Disney stores. We have what's it called? The Character Premiere Store. It's an outlet It's an outlet store. store for Disney. You usually find it in the outlet malls. And down here in Florida, pretty much everything they sell comes from Disneyland. They don't sell anything really from Orlando. Most of it is labeled at Disneyland. But I think I paid... Two bucks for this at a Disney store. It actually is supposed to have a little spoon on it, but it it's is, in the drawer. It's in the drawer, but it actually, the fact that it's still a part of our family is amazing because we mm -hmm. lose part, parts of things. So earlier in the week, we posted um, our, our trip with, with Chris and Miriam yep. getting to come visit. And just as excited as Joe was to go crash drones, I don't want to say fly, but crash drones, drones we with Chris. We a lot. Um, I was excited to go shopping with Miriam at Sawgrass Mills Mall, which is a huge outlet mall and tourist attraction here in South Florida with about, what is it, like seven miles? There's some claim to fame that it's this it, it giant mall. It used to be the largest outlet mall. It's not anymore. I think it's like the second one. But they don't even have, the, their real cool thing was when they first built it, if you took an aerial view of it, it was the shape of an alligator. Yeah, but now, they keep adding on to it, so it's no longer the shape of an alligator. Now it's like a trapezoid. But, but it's um, a couple miles if you walk the whole thing. But out of all of those miles, I just wanted to take her to one store. Just one, one store. Because she has beautiful children. I know you're going home from Florida. You wanna bring some souvenirs. You wanna go to the character premiere outlet store and get these awesome, awesome Disney things. Was the one store not open? Disney store. Disney store. Uh, Steph wants to know when you're going to get a tadpole for the kids to watch grow into a prince. When am I gonna get a what? Tadpole. I'm never getting a tadpole. Okay, so Stephanie posted a picture of a like a tree frog that had gotten on their house. My recommendation is to move. <laughs> Don't even try to negotiate. If the tree frog has found your home, it's time to just pack up and leave because chances are there are more frogs in that vicinity. So that, that house got to go. <laughs> Miriam and Chris bought food for camping today. Fun! So what is everybody doing for 4th of July? Are, are you camping for 4th of July, Chris and Miriam? Uh, Steph is having buns, burgers, chaffled dog Yum. buns, and Frank's jalapeno poppers and deviled eggs for the 4th. I burnt myself a, a hamburger today for lunch. I burnt it up really well. It was like a little briquette. I don't know what happened. And I offered to cook for you. I, you did, but I, I could see that Joe was like super busy and I thought, I got this. I didn't even go like an idiot. I didn't even go on the Blackstone. I'm like, I'm just gonna pan fry this. And I I clearly burnt I it. am about to pass some rule right now that I don't care about the chickens. I don't care about you. I don't care about the kids. There is no cooking in the house right now because I it's been it. over a hundred degrees every day. It's miserable. And you keep turning on that stove and it raises the temperature. Go outside or don't eat. It's, That's Or go out to eat. It's, it's terrible hot. It's ridiculous. Speaking of going out to eat, for her mom's birthday, which is actually on the 4th, yeah, we took Rachel's mom for her first time to Texas Roadhouse to get a prime rib. 
I call it the bear special. And she was in heaven. She was in heaven. She was like, I did not even know. That we wouldn't this even was a let thing. her order. We yeah. Were, we called her and said, here's what you're getting for your birthday. Because she doesn't really ever want us to take her out to eat. Yeah. She's like, yeah, please don't waste you your money on me. You think I'm cheap. Yeah. She's like, don't waste your money on me. It's your birthday. And so we're like, we're taking you out. Here's the deal. You can't say no. And you can't order. We're ordering for you. Because if you let her order, she's going to go in there and find the cheapest hamburger on the menu and say, that's good enough for me. She absolutely will. In fact, we went so far as to like order her a diet soda because she won't I even she, order a diet soda. She will not. Buy, she would never order a diet soda. And it was so good. I don't. You're getting spoiled. I like am prime spoiled. rib three times in three weeks. But I'm stuck married to you, so it evens out, <laughs> right? Don't you think? Uh, Chris said, "Reset the Mini Pro back to factory settings and move on." I can't Ugh. figure out how to do that. I knew, and <laughs> it's nowhere online. If you know how to. Let me know. It's something about unplugging it and doing something while you plug it back in, but I don't remember and there's no reset switch. When I called them, they told me to downgrade the firmware to an old version and I tried and it didn't work. I can't figure it out at all. And remember, it's not the mini, it's the mini pro. So it does all the streaming and everything for you. I have no idea what he just said, but uh, okay. Chris is gonna put something on Facebook. Awesome, thank you. Uh, also, oh, Dr. Barry is in Hello, the house. Hello, Dr. Barry. Welcome. <laughs> oh, and I think about that. Oh, okay. It's Nisha. I don't know if it's Dr. Barry or it's Nisha, but it's one of the two of them. They're both awesome people. Hello, Nisha. <laughs> Hello, baby Beckett. It could be, it could be baby it could Beckett. Be, 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 Beckett's already learning how to work a computer. I believe it. The kids, this generation is so far advanced. I'm surprised you couldn't just like shove an iPad up there and the baby could lay handle it right there and like right in inside the womb. It's ridiculous I am so how looking forward savvy. to Dr. Barry's like online conference. It's coming. Have you seen that lineup? Yes. That lineup is incredible. I really think that this is going to be really a, a life-changing opportunity for a lot of people who have never thought about going to a conference, you know, getting on a plane and going, mm -hmm. and maybe they haven't, you know, known about different speakers and checked them out on YouTube before. So, I mean, this is bringing to everyone's home an amazing lineup of speakers. Yeah, it, it's going to be really awesome. Shauna said, for 4th of July, I watched the last seven movies of the Marvel Comics Universe movies. Wow. I think that's an actually, like, a great way to spend the 4th of July. <laughs> Uh, right family said, I joined PETA a while back. People eating tasty animals. Aw. <laughs> I feel like I saw a shirt with that on it. Um, GG Girl said, hey, TKK Girl. have brought you to into their life and those drones are in the tree. They always have a story to share. <laughs> it's just so crazy. He's been flying it in the front yard though. And we do have, uh, we did find out that there is a nice... Um, park not far from our the house. elementary school and it's a big open field which really helps Renee said I'll hey, be Renee. packing the hound in my car drive away from the house as our town is the only one for miles still doing fireworks and the pups are terrified because they're right in our backyard yeah I was actually talking to Caitlin today and she, and I was gonna you know invite her over to the house uh, for for fireworks and she was like I can't do it she actually got hit by a firework when she was a little kid. Mm -hmm. And that if that didn't sour her enough, um, she went on a family trip and she said one like whizzed by her last year and she's like, I'm out, I'm done, I can't. And then that combined with, a, for a lot of the animals, it really freaks them out. For some reason, Tabitha is like, oh, that's cool. It does not upset her at all. Is she like the only dog that doesn't mind fireworks? She's like the most easygoing dog. She's an awesome dog. It's very Gigi Girl said she liked that we were she was drinking from the mug. We were drinking from the mug she sent us the other day. We well I the think other day. yeah. Well also Gigi Girl got this one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love it. So um also just to let you guys know, this chat's a little different, so I'm kind of like scrolling backwards because it's scrolling so fast I can't keep up with it and it's not like the way we had it before. So if you do have something you really want to say and you really want us to make sure just you can do the super chat thing down below, it kind of highlights it for us. Janice is here. Hey Janice. We're doing good. How are you doing? Uh let's see. Yeah, I'm scrolling backwards. There we go. 
Amy says you should both move to your left a bit of the chat so it doesn't cover up Joe so much. Do we go like this? Like Is that? that better? Is that better? Is that better? Are we in there? <laughs> Seth said was supposed to be doing a keto chill challenge, but mine turned into eggs mostly and either tuna, chicken, or beef. Well, that's still... That is a great, I mean, really just fast, because basically you're focusing on one thing in order to, to see what are the, the problem variables. Mm -hmm. April said, I got my steps in today, a little over 10,000. Thanks for the motivation. With your live walking yesterday, why don't you talk about what our July challenges so our july challenge is freedom to move because you know july we're always you know thinking about freedom right mm -hmm. that's kind of like the fireworks in america and freedom um month but it got me thinking we've experienced a lot of freedom since being on keto that we didn't have before right like we can walk around before a hundred pounds ago first of all joe was using a wheelchair if yeah. there was a long distance you know walking a hundred pounds ago you had a disabled sticker in in your car i still have it in the garage i found that i just refused to get rid of it because it's like a memory yeah like 20 years with a handicap sticker yeah i mean we we recently before we went to omaha actually threw out your cane yep um, so there was a lot of things we couldn't do. And for me, same thing. My range of mobility was so limited and my, um, stamina was terrible. And now it's like you are enjoying so much freedom to move. But the thing is, is that if you don't actually move, what is the point of freedom? Freedom right. is only useful if you actually use it. And in our Fearless Friday um, newsletter that we're gonna be you know, putting out tomorrow, we're gonna be talking about that because I've always been fascinated um, with uh, this news. After World War II, there was um, a gentleman that was still inside of a cave hiding. Like the war was over and he was still in this cave and there were they were trying to get news to this gentleman that like the war is over you are free to come out you do not have to live in hiding anymore come out and he just couldn't believe it and he and he didn't live it right. so he stayed another 29 years in basically his own captivity because he wasn't operating in the freedom that he had and and that's not what i want us to do right. i want us to experience freedom fully so we're moving. That's right. Things we couldn't do before. Lynn said, Tabitha is a black lab hunting dog. Most are most are not gun loud noise shy. That's probably Never really why. Never really thought about that. Yeah. That's probably true. Renee said, you're lucky your greyhounds shake violently and the greys can't take sedatives. So uh, she's tried natural calm chews, but they don't help. I've heard CBD oil for, for, for the um, greyhounds also. I had some friends that worked for a greyhound rescue and they had mentioned that that might help a little. I don't know, you probably have already tried it. Amy is gonna carnivore it up this weekend. I always like to carnivore it up. I would. I know that we're having- I don't like this chat feature, I can't read it. We're, it's scrolling too fast. We're having the pig, but I really hope that there is some side bacon that's been cured that's also in my in my 4th of July future. Ah, uh, whatever, is, I have a lot in the freezer. I think we have like 35 pounds of bacon in the freezer. Okay, that doesn't make me upset. Yeah, you have plenty, you're gonna have plenty of pig skin though. I, that's I do, your favorite part. I she do. doesn't even want the, the actual pork. She no. just wants all of the skin. Yes, I like the, the pork skin. Uh, let's see. Keto Dana says, I do a year and a half. Uh, she has a year and a half golden doodle. Oh, wow. Rachel, did you get your steps in today? So thank you, Floyd. Um, I am 1,500 steps short, but let me tell you, what happened and and my commitment to this okay so i had a bunch of meetings this morning and then i had to do the taping with um caitlin then after that and dropping off stuff for shipping i thought okay now i'm going to go and get my steps in and i had already gotten just throughout the day about three thousand in so i'm like okay just seven thousand to go and but then it was really really hot outside like it is crazy hot like 98 degrees it's, hot it's ridiculously hot so that's why usually i go in the morning so i'm like that's it i've got to get these in so i just started walking and it seemed like it was getting a little overcast so i walk all the way to the college nearby and i start walking it and 
the heavens open up and it is pouring and I'm like screw it I'm already soaking wet I'm just gonna keep going then the lightning came and I'm starting to think like this is crazy I need to start heading back home so I've got in about wait 8,500 steps. So after this live stream, I am finishing it up because yes, there are always going to be obstacles to trying to get like your goals achieved, and I'm I'm not giving in to them. Like I'm getting that 10,000 steps in every single day. I don't care if I have to do it at midnight. Um, I was just looking up. I wanted to remind people that number one, we are still do. We still have some time. If you're interested in getting some of the kettle and fire and being entered into a two hundred and fifty dollar Amazon gift card giveaway, again, not being done by us. It's kettle and fire is doing. He actually messaged me, and he was like, um, "When when are we running this through?" And I'm like, "We're going through Monday," because he originally was only like three days. And I was like, "No, no, no, it's we're doing for. Time I want to do for a week." To know about it. So you have until Monday or Sunday. Actually, it's Sunday. He's doing the drawing on Sunday. So if you're interested in some kettle and fire, you can use the different links that are down below. Uh, if you if you bought, purchase something and you use the code Two Crazy Ketos. You don't have to buy the new flavors. That allows you no. to buy any of the flavors. And uh, that, again, entered in for $250. Lollies, anybody who likes Lollies cookie clusters, starting tomorrow, they're having a 4th of July sale. Uh, it's the cheapest I've actually ever seen it. It's $11 a bag. Wow. Starting at 8 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow. Plus, you can use our coupon code to get some additional money off. There's always 4th of July sales. Yeah. You know, I it's love just, 4th of July sales. 4th of July is when you want to buy, like, your washer, your dryer, your VCR, if you <laughs> your VCR, your DVD player, whatever, right? It was always 4th of July was when you would buy appliances. Which we got to buy a washer and dryer. Yep. All right. Let me scroll. Can you scroll up? <laughs> um, that's it. All right. Slapstick is here. I tried the new Kettle and Fire soups to try. I love that they're higher in fat than the others. Me too. And I really like the new butter one because it's got one total carb per serving, which is kind of incredible. Um, Shanta says, people just always call me when the live is going and it gets on my nerves. Yes. <laughs> it's just like my children still know exactly when I'm about to put a, a spoonful of food up to my mouth because that's when they need me. Yeah. Every single time. One other sale that I was, that's what I was trying to look up was Perfect Keto is having a 4th of July sale. It started yesterday. We just didn't put a video up or anything. No. Uh, buy two items, 15% off. Buy three items, get 20% off. Four items, you get 25% off. Five items or more, you get 35% off. And it all includes free shipping. And that sale is going all the way through Monday. So if you need some Perfect Keto stuff, if you need some MCT powder or some oil, uh, collagen powder or something like that, it's a pretty good sale. It's it's 35% off is generally the best they have until Black Friday. Yeah, that is a good sale. All right, so Chris is saying, I spent the last 20 minutes helping kids and that's about the same as a phone call. Always. <laughs> right, family? Says that they, that they ignore them. Um, Miriam is saying that uh, she stood behind the sofa doing leg lifts and squats sometimes. That's really awesome. Oh my gracious. I'm waiting for Miriam to get her treadmill because I figure once Chris lets her get a treadmill, I can talk you into letting me get one. It can go in your she shed. It's, you know what would be a better shot of you getting a treadmill? What? Is me seeing you go on long walks. I walked enough at work. I walked Did seven you? miles yesterday. Did you really? Yes. And the That's day impressive. before, I messaged Chris on, what is, it, what is today, Thursday? Tuesday? Anthony and I cut the church and we did all of the hedges. We're trying to get everything like looking super nice for the building coming back. And... Uh, it was 106 degrees that day. What? It was is so up? ridiculously hot. I don't think I peed the entire day. I drank like TMI, a gallon of perhaps? water. And I finally, it just got to the point, like, I didn't have any zip fizzes with me. Ooh, and I'm like, what good. am I going to do? And I messaged you, is there any more water left in the church? Because we like literally ran out of water. And I started fumbling, like, oh yeah. And I had a little bottle 
of the Keto Chow. It's my last little tiny bottle that I hadn't refilled yet. I had to like, it was full. I put the entire thing like under my tongue, the whole bottle, but within 10 minutes, all my crumbs went away. Well, and that's the thing. It's getting, all joking aside, it gets a little bit dangerous when because you don't even realize how hot and depleted that you are until it's sort of too late. There's a, so many times that I've just gone out for the day and thinking like, okay, this is hot, and then you overexert yourself and then you get yourself into a bad spot. Right. So like, definitely I would just keep in my purse, have in my car, get the, the keto child drops, have some of the you know Redmond electrolyte powder if you you know prefer that, have some zip fizzes in your purse, like just something so that in case of emergency, you can you know have that with you. And always just take a container of water with you. It's yep. just, woof, it's too hot to mess with. Uh, Janice said, is the goal 10,000 steps? I'm still recovering from surgery, but I was working, I did an average of 5,000 steps and they didn't even count for my daily steps. So actually, that is an awesome question. What I am doing is 10,000 steps, but what I'm inviting everybody to do is something outside of the norm. So something that you are free to do. So maybe your range of motion problems was, hey, I because of, you know, m bad knees, I couldn't climb up of stairs. And so now I'm gonna do some stair stepping activities. Maybe um, it, it was some range of motion ability and you're gonna do an exercise that will you know, test your new ability. Whatever that is, whatever is some kind of new movement that you can do this July, just challenge yourself to do it every single day. Because a lot of times, you know, if I go a couple of days, then I, I'm then I'm going a week without doing it. Right. Right. Like it's I have to do it every single day. So if 10,000 steps is if you think, hey, I'm going to put myself to that challenge, go for it. But anything will do. And also you don't need to do things outside or, you know, even join a gym or add expenses to your household expenses. Um, if you feel safer going to a local mall and walking the mall, a lot of times they open the mall, you know, with its air conditioned loveliness, seven, eight o'clock in the morning before they even open the shops. Right. And I've gone there when it's been raining or if, you know, when it gets too hot and I need to get my steps in, I'll go to the mall because I'm just looking around, window shopping gives me something to look at, you know, and I'm not out in the heat. Right. Rachel and I actually went the other day and we walked, we went down, we just got in the car, we drove down to the beach, we walked down the beach, then we walked down the street and we just kept walking. It but was nice it, because we had a breeze. Yeah. The breeze really helps. Yeah, because right around here, it's ridiculous. You definitely want to go in South Florida, you want to go to the east coast and not like the west side of town where you're getting to like Everglades water and it's just still hot. You know, yeah. it's so different. I mean, I love sitting out and looking at any body of water but like there is something so different about lake water versus ocean water you don't have the breeze and it, it can be a little yeah. bit too much for those of you who are interested i just put the link for the perfect keto fourth of july sale down below in the description so oh april says your hair is looking beautiful love the body it has it suits you thank you i'm still i'm still wanting to, it to grow down. I'm waiting for it to drop. It keeps just going out. So we may just be totally little orphan Annie before this is all over. Uh, Renee's to like, what treadmill are you wanting, Miriam? That, the one with the big giant video screen monitor and they have a trainer and you kind of walk everywhere. Is that the one Christy Davis has from the Keto Village? Yeah. She, th which their um, new line of food just came out. That yeah. you might want to check. Yep. I think they've reformulated, added some things to that too. Stephanie said, is Florida opening up more Texas? Looks like we're heading to another shutdown. I feel like that's going on I here. I think we might. I actually just got a thing uh, saying that for the dog park, if you if you walk even through the park, if you're outside in public, you're supposed to be wearing a mask now. Yeah. I'm just not doing so it. So this. I just, I'm just staying in the house. So <laughs> what was it? Yester yesterday, I was able to walk in that park without a mask on to... to live stream and now i would have to be wearing a mask to do that mm -hmm. so miriam said chris fix our existing treadmill that we have at keto child so that it can take him some more convincing for him to buy me the treadmill Dang that i it. really want gotta throw a wrench in it <laughs> break it i actually worked with a guy he he was he was this was not cool 
So he wanted a new phone. He actually was a family member of my boss. And he would, he, he said, I want a new phone. And my boss was like, you're, you're fine. Your phone is fine. And, but he wanted the new upgraded phone. He rolled down the window while they were driving and threw it out the window. And he's like, now, like, now you don't have a phone. Now I need a new phone. I was like, I couldn't believe he did that. I wouldn't have got him a new phone. Chris Sarah said, I got all of the flavors of the Singing Pastures uh, charcuterie uh, today. Ooh. Ooh, I want to try those. Let, let us know how they are. Oh, yeah. I bet that's good. Um, right family said some of the people at our church tried to trim some hedges at church uh, when we went back they were just stumps left <laughs> we actually had um, some folks come and plant flowers mm -hmm. and I thought that that was so sweet it's it's nice yeah, you know they may not get it exactly right because you know they're new to it or I saw those flowers I'm like garden. it's gonna look so pretty which they didn't do it because um I can't spray weed killer near them. And uh, yeah, like they built the church on what I think is a giant weed farm. But you have to take ownership. They're going to look pretty. They're going to be beautiful. And you want to take ownership of that place. You See, know, I, I, it's like you want to be a part of it. People look at landscaping and they're always like, oh, it looks so pretty. I look at landscaping and I'm like, that is a lot of work. <laughs> The only thing that I look at sideways is when people are planting bougainvilleas because they are gorgeous and this is the time of year from them here because bougainvilleas... Well, now they're going to start growing all just like a weed. They need water. And so in Florida, we have dry season and wet season. That's basically our seasons. We call them summer and diet summer. That's yep. basically all the and seasons you Bougainvilles have. Bougainvilleas flower during the dry season, but during the rainy season, they grow like a couple of feet a week. Oh my gracious. So like with all of the, the rain that we've been having, it, they're going to take over. It's going to be like little shop of horrors. Rachel's always asked me like, how come we don't have like super nice landscaping and you do landscaping? And I'm like, because... How, who else feels this way? Let us know. Whatever I do, do this all day long. The last thing I want to do when I get home is cut grass or plant hedges or like we still haven't done the side. I figured we're going to put the chicken coop in and then I'll sod around. My it. friend is an accountant and they're like, we always file an extension because <laughs> we're accountants and I, I want to do mine later. I don't want to do it on my own when I get home. Shauna said, like always here in California, we are a mess and no one knows what's going on, including our governor. It's back and forth week to week. And mm -hmm. so it's kind of like, yeah, I feel like it is Groundhog Day because we're all looking. Go back inside or come out? Go back inside or come out? Renee has the Nordic Track Incline Trainer uh, 22i. Nice. And Myra walked two miles yesterday and two today. That is incredible. That's what I'm talking about. The whole about. idea is just to get moving. Yeah. I used to not be able to even go around the block a couple of times. I can remember following Caleb behind. And I was a young woman. I was in my 20s trying to keep up with Caleb on his little power wheels. And I thought, oh my gracious, I'm going to have a heart attack just trying to keep up with him. What a sad state of affairs because I have so much energy and stamina now. And I really wish that I had that for my children when they were really young. Mm -hmm. I mean, so we're going to be very active grandparents. Renee wants to know, are there any weed barriers that actually work? I have a circle around the trees that I just checked. I uh, thought about putting down the stuff y'all uh, use. Um, down here, not really. I mean, I'm not familiar with other areas, but the grass that we have down here will grow through anything. I've actually seen it's it so like thick. grow through the bot, like literally poke through the bottom of like the, the, when people put in those pools, those cheaper, like not the blow up pools, but the ones where you, yeah, that you buy at Walmart for a couple hundred bucks and stuff like that. I've seen them actually poke through the grass. The real problem. I, don't, I personally don't think any of those weed barriers work super well. They may help stuff not come through initially, but what happens is, is you get the wind blowing and then you get the seeds from other plants and stuff like that in the area and it comes on top and it just germinates on top of the barrier, like underneath the rocks and the mulch and stuff like that. The best thing to do is just, I know people don't like it, but... And, I have no choice. I have to use it. It's part of our job is Roundup is spraying every once in a while and putting, keeping thick layers of mulch. Yeah. Because that'll help kind of like 
kind of suppress them a little bit. Now we recently put in our backyard the the rubber mulch, mm -hmm. and we it's been really we, nice. We've gotten a few weeds, but, but nothing not like, like it normal. Used to be. Yeah, nothing like normal. And I haven't seen those long runners of grass, which I think is pretty impressive. Right. Rubber mulch. It's it stinks initially. And then the smell goes away. Because when you lay it, you're like, oh my goodness, I don't think I could live with this rubber mulch in my backyard because it's really stinky, but it goes away. Oh, you have to pay. Renee has that that uh, treadmill, and she said it came with the trainer for a year, but she didn't renew Ooh. the subscription and still offers a ton of places. I didn't nice. know you have to pay for the trainer on... You're paying like a, what, over a thousand dollars for that treadmill, and then you still have to pay for the trainer part. That's... Well, do they constantly come up with new like workout options? No, she said it still has different places and routes and stuff. But there's a trainer who actually yells at you. <laughs> well, I don't want somebody to yell at me. Uh, Steph said I wear my mask anytime except for going outside to the mailbox. Yeah, that's better safe than sorry. I was looking at our laundry and we have a lot of masks in our laundry and I, I was thinking, man, this is, at first I, I forget and I, I thought, why do we have diapers in our laundry? It's like, it's not diapers. Those I are, thought it was funny. Those so, are masks. So I keep getting like from Rachel all day long because I'm always at work and stuff and I keep like every 30 minutes I'm getting a message. Um, the laundry's done. I'm like, wow, we do a lot of laundry. Like, yes. I don't think we, there's ever a time of the day where that machine's not running. Well, I'm a- What's up? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony's home. Um, so, yeah, but I don't want to let anything sit. All of our laundry is sopping wet with sweat, and you do not want Anthony to have it. Anthony and I sweated three, three shirts the other day. Yeah, or... you do not want to let that sit. Pamela just started squatting to strengthen her knees and help her out and get out of a chair or a sofa without using her hands. That is really good. You know, another option is if you are recovering from something and you're doing physical therapy exercises to be like, okay, I'm going to be super diligent about that. Because I can remember, you know, we've even, you know, gotten better after, you know, problems and stuff like that and not been super diligent about the physical therapy. You know, the doctor says, okay, do this. And you're like... Uh, I'll half do it. So mm -hmm. that's another way to move and keep moving throughout the month. Patty rode a bike four miles earlier. Now I'm getting my steps in three to four miles. Helps with the emotional stuff. It really does. I know that when you first get up, especially if you're somebody like me that likes to normally do it in the morning. So like tomorrow I will be up at the butt crack of dawn doing my steps instead of trying to do them in the, in the afternoon. I don't like to do them late. Um, but you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to get out of bed. Right. What would truly be nice to myself is to give myself more sleep. I want to rest more. That would be loving myself. It's not. The movement is going to help you. It helps with, with anxiety. It definitely helps with depression. It helps you know you to feel good about yourself that you have met goals for your, yourself. A lot of times, the goal itself is just, it's being good to yourself. Right. It's saying, I have some expectations for myself and I'm going to achieve them. Right. Christopher said, I've been wearing this Keto Savage wristband to help remind me to move every day, but lately it doesn't seem to be working too well. I mean, I still go outside and play with the kids and stuff. Yeah. Well, now you've got a renewed sense. Snap that bracelet and get to it. <laughs> James said, uh, I have the same problem. I work construction. My electrolytes falls too low and makes me sick. So I'm all day trying to keep drinking Zip Fizz. Yeah, we usually keep them in the car. And I, we just, because of like lacrosse season being canceled this year, I never bothered checking on it. And I'm like, I told Anthony, it's like, we got to reload the car. I don't use one every day, but it's just sometimes you just, we all have a day that's so hot, I just need something quick. I, it's either that or Keto Chow Drops, so it's usually a combination of both. I keep one in my purse all the time. I keep my Keto Chow Drops in my purse and one Zip Fizz. And I can't even tell you how many people that have gotten my one Zip Fizz that I have in my purse. Right. Because, you know, you're out and I one time pastor needed it. Somebody had a migraine. Somebody, like, passed out. I, like was passing out at church and it was amazing. Chris said, I'd like to point out again that the schoolyard cheese puffs are still sold out and I, this is why I can't have anything nice. Oh, they're so good. I think they sold out of the other kind too. You were you were working on something with those cheese, cheesy poofs. I'm working on it. 
But it, the problem is right now you can't get them, so I don't want to waste them. <laughs> They're like cigarettes in prison. Uh, let's see. So Miriam said, okay, you have that one. So even without the, the subscription, it has good programs. Uh, that's awesome. Another selling point, Chris. As long as they have like beautiful views to look at. So you're you're basically walking. Is it like soaring for Disney? Like you're walking and you're yeah, seeing you're, all you're these actually, beautiful things? Well, you're actually like walking like you could like climb Mount Everest kind of thing. I've always wanted to walk along the Great Wall of China. Is that one of the one of the views? I don't know. I don't know. Because that could be a selling point for me. Chris said, I bet, I bet Joe likes it when people plant Chinese uh, elm or Russian olive trees. Two things I cannot stand when a customer um, plants. And number one is bougainvillea, because it's the devil plant. We call it the devil plant. It's and all thorns. The branches I actually, are if I pull up on a house that asks for an estimate, and if I see that, I generally will increase my estimate by like 20 to 30%, hoping they won't hire me. <laughs> you can you can always see when we've, we've been cutting somebody's house, everybody's face is completely scratched yeah. up in all of your arms. And the other one that I can't stand is ficus. I hate ficus because ficus. during the summer when it gets water, it loves water, so it grows super quick. It gets very sappy when you cut it. And then Not we like also sad. We have sappy. We have something down here called white fly disease, which really devastates them as it is. So then you have to always worry every time you cut it that all the leaves are gonna fall off and then you're gonna get blamed. And then they're also really bad because they love water so much they actually seek it out and they will wrap themselves around your pool pipes, your house pipes, they'll actually, their roots will break through and break the pipes themselves because they need that water. It's one of those things that if you're looking for a hedge, like mm -hmm. instead of having a fence on your property and you want a hedge, a ficus is fantastic. It does the job really well, but you better want it there for life because it comes back like, a crazy ex-girlfriend. I cannot get used to this chat. All of a sudden, I'm like, okay, cool. And then it just like jumps and like puts 40 of them up there. It's like keep having to scroll backwards. Why does it not just do one at a time? It's so It's weird. just because we have awesome subscribers who are like putting a bunch of comments. You're awesome. Uh, Renee said it's called iFit. iFit. They offer a deal to include it for the first year and you have to pay to renew. There are plenty of free ones in the iFit library. That's. Now. Okay. That's always that's good. That's kind of cool. My, gr uh, my gr godmother had the vibrating machine with the belt when I was younger. I don't know how well they work or exercise, but I love that thing. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That reminds me of the carousel of progress at Disney World. Remember, one of the things is turning and the girl is like exercising. She's like, I found mom's exercise machine and her voice is all shaky. Right. I love that thing. Renee said she doesn't, she doesn't mind Roundup. What kind of mulch? Any kind of... Not the wood chips, because you want something that's really going to compress. So I don't know what you have there. I mean, it's different all over the country. But if you the have like the, more like if you have like the shredded mulch, like where, yeah, I guess that's a good way to put it. But if it's like shredded, like you can usually get it in the Home Depot or something like that. But it's different all over the country. But don't get like the wood bark chips. That's not going to really do a good what job of compressing down. What color do you like the best? I like brown. I don't like red. You know everybody, everybody down here loves red mulch. I can't stand red mulch because the color lasts. They tell you it's going to last for a while, back. and it just we with our rains. But I'm telling you that the difference is that rubber mulch. The rubber mulch is still. We got kind of a reddish brown color, right. and it is still going. And y'all know we we planted that planted it. We laid it like quite a few weeks ago now. Chris said, oh, hey, I paid my taxes like a real adult. The IRS hasn't debited the checking account yet, so I get excited. Then remember, oh, it's all going away. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's money that's already been spent. Shauna said, I can't grow anything. I'm more like a plant hospice. I'd like to think and gently, gently, gently nurse plants to meet their makeup. <laughs> Seriously, that is completely me. I love plants. I want to be a gardener. I truly, truly want to. Over the course of our marriage... Would you say I've had like 500,000 plants? At least. She like kills everything. At least. I killed a chia. I killed a chia plant. Like ch ch, -ch chia where you're just like supposed to spread the seed across it. It was a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. And I killed it. How do you kill a chia? 
Fine girls here. She hey, said, I work at the meat counter at our store, working all day long. I don't have a step counter, but I'm sure I come close to 10,000 steps. Uh, we're known to have the longest full service counter in Ontario. Wow, that That's is incredible. Awesome. So if you have an iPhone, you can pull up the health app on your phone yep. and it will it's counting your steps. So if you're somebody that keeps your phone on your person, it will count the steps for you. So you don't necessarily have to have a pedometer or, you know, have an Apple Watch or anything like that, but it's got that step pro, it's got this keeps the steps right in there with that. Renee said, even if your knees don't allow uh, squats, try wall sits and they uh, work very well without all of the torque. That is nice. Another option I keep going back to is the dancing. I wanted to do that in, you know, follow like YouTube dances, like dance exercising thing. We just don't have a very big area in the living room to do it, but I think that's another great idea. And free, it doesn't cost anything. Yep. Deb said, I once killed monkey grass outdoors 30 years ago. Do you know how hard it is to kill monkey grass? I'm it's right there. It's a ground cover. <laughs> Serious, I totally feel you. It's, it's ridiculous. I've tried so many different like butterfly plants because um, this is supposed to be the butterfly capital of the world. Yep. And yeah, no, not in my garden. Nope. Christopher said, I did have to go to two kids baseball games though and we had batting practice for a couple of hours yesterday. So at least I'm not just sitting, but I sit a lot with my job. That is great. Yeah. Um, another thing that you can do is switch out one errand where you go and walk to that. Mm -hmm. If you walk to that errand, like you're, you're, you know, you're going to have to go get eggs or something. Walk that errand one time a week. Uh, Brandon said we have the red, uh, the red rubber mulch. Uh, this is the second summer and it still looks the same. Brandon, yeah, I love that. It was that. expensive, but it's That's still good looking to know. good. That's good to know. Cause I have high hopes for it. I really thought, Hey, if it lasts a month, that will be double the amount of time that our previous So your chickens mulch. get to it next week because next week we, Anthony and I have to build the chicken coop. It's coming. So uh, we didn't do it this week because he's having a party at the house and I'm like, yeah, I don't want to have, the, you don't want to push them so outside ready. and they, they're ready to get out. But it was funny. So on the same day that we had all of that cutting and it was ridiculously hot, I had two flat tires on my trailers. Don't know how one of them had a giant hole on the side and another one had a giant nail in it because there was like so much construction down here. So I had to get two tires, got them from Walmart and um, <clears throat> excuse me, Anthony and I like went to do like all of that and we had to get my, my impact wrench out of the garage. So I opened up the garage door and Rachel rolls the thing back and lets them kind of roam around the garage a little bit. They don't really leave their no, little area. They, they stay in their area. They Anthony like to go up. Was freaking out he was like these chickens he's so terrified that you're gonna open the door they won't. one of them are gonna fly away they won't and they know mama's call so they just as soon as i'm like hey come come over here in chicken because i speak chicken now yeah they they come right away they don't they do not leave their area they're Renee very said, good sweet baby ray sugar-free hickory is amazing we're very excited to try I'm gonna that i'm gonna get some of that for uh, the pig because this is the first time I'm going to uh, roast an entire pig without injecting it with the, uh, moho. the moho. So I'm hoping it comes out okay. He's got any suggestions for doing an entire pig without injecting it with a marinade because down here that's the marinade. You use like moho because that's just like how the Cubans do it, but there's a lot of sugar in that. There so. is, and it had it's a basically look, rotten orange juice. That's I was gonna what say, Moho is. It had like a sourness to it that I, I'm wondering what will the meat taste like without it? Yeah. Ron Ron's here, hey. Uh, Constance said, right family is really good. It's so thick when I have to use an instant pot to add liquid, uh, which allows for a thick sauce to be easily added and not watered down. I am really excited about this because Sweet Baby Ray's was our sauce. Like mm -hmm. that was the only barbecue sauce that we used to get pre-keto because we just really like the flavor. So I'm really hoping that the flavors are good with the sugar-free version. Yeah, Christopher said, Alterna Sweets is great. I just finished a huge bottle of it when I found Sweet Baby Ray's. Alterna Sweets is still my, gonna be my favorite because it's gonna be the cleanest. Yeah. So, you know, when the Sweet Baby, it's nice that they've got something. It's not the super cleanest ingredients. I mean, if you really want clean ingredients, you're like, you're gonna get Alterna Sweets. We have that nice big jug. 
Yeah. I need the jug of spicy tom- uh, tomato ketchup. But I want I want to taste the sweet baby rays. Yeah. It reminds me of my uncle because he always barbecued with it. Uh, Joe said, when I get home, I do IT as a hobby and I do IT as a side business. I do <laughs> IT for church. I do IT for the Aww. family and friends and I enjoy it at night and uh, end day. And then there's also keto. Aw, that's good. Uh, Christopher said, it's going to be hard to get away from Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory Barbecue Sauce for that price. Nancy says, I want to hear Rachel speak chicken. Yes. So wherever I am, as soon as you say, chuk, 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 they come beelining for mama. It is the cutest thing ever. I need to take more pictures of Ruth because her fluffy butt is coming in so beautifully. I'm telling you, she is built like a pear, isn't she? She is giant, and then she has like the fluffy, furry pants on. Right. It's it's amazing. She's huge. He said, I've never cooked a whole pig, so I have no clue. I'd search out recipes by oh. Chris Kelly or Myron Mixon. Yeah. Well, yeah, down here, pretty much everything you find, if you go search like roasting a whole pig, uh, especially with the La Cajuchina, it's everybody says the same thing. You inject it with mojo, so. I don't know. I may do put, do a little bit of brine or something like that. We're going to go get it tomorrow morning. And he said he wants it ready at like 7 o'clock on Saturday. But with the La Cotachina, it only takes three hours to, to three hours roast the entire pig. The whole pig. Yeah. And if you're talking three about... Three hours and like three bags of charcoal. Three to or four me, bags of charcoal. the whole point of doing that is for the chicharron is. Yeah. That is, there is something so stinking magical about the chicharrones off of it being fresh. Patty said, I posted pics on the 2KK Facebook of my friend's coop. She has swings and chandeliers hanging in there and put in an old wooden, you're not getting that, old wooden ladder for them to climb on. It's all decked out. It's the chick chalet. Oh my gosh. (laughs) It's so beautiful. That was the one that you visited recently, wasn't it? Is it the one where I can see pictures of you holding the chicky babies? Because that was adorable. Wright family said, we roasted a whole hog at church and we used to attend and all we did was add butter every 30 minutes to an hour to keep, keep it, from it from drying, drying out. out. Well, maybe I'll just put a whole bunch of butter like in it. That's a good idea. That is a great idea. That's a really good idea. Just I, like, like, let's add a bunch a second... of fat to pork. Um, now the thing about, and no, it really sounds delicious. No, it sounds actually. really, I'm not, no, this the is thing, good. The thing about the way <laughs> the Lakachina works, the reason you can roast an entire pig in three hours is the way they do it. It's because you normally what, what they would do is they would bury it. So this is like a roasting box. And the idea is you're going to put the pig into this box and then it's got charcoal on top. So you put it in and then there's a cover that goes on it. And then you line the cover with charcoal. So it's and it's like an indirect heat. So the heat is going down. It's not coming up. When you put it in there, you're not opening that box. And you have a little wire thing out for like keeping an eye on the temperature. You're not opening that box until the pig is almost done. Like 30 minutes away from being done. You're just going totally by temperature. Because if you open it up, all the heat escapes and now you just added a whole bunch of time onto your cooking. Which I would always do checking on things in the oven. Joe would be like, don't go near the oven. Yeah. As soon as you let the heat out, like that's going to be bad. And I'm like, I just need to check on it. Don't check on it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it's a, between two to two and a half hours for the pig. And then what you're going to do is at the very end, the last 30 minutes, you open up the box. You flip the pig over because you have it right at this point. It's skin side down. Um, you're going to flip them over because you when we get them, you get them butterfly. You flip them over. You he make so little sad. notches in the skin. It's kind of pitiful. And then you're going to let him roast just to roast up the skin from the heat pushing right down onto the skin. And it comes out perfect every single time. The funny part was the first time we went and got a pig. So we got this yes. La Cajachina, which they're like three or four hundred dollars. I know what you're gonna say. We bought it from uh, somebody on offer up for I think I paid like fifty bucks for it. It yeah. was brand new. It had never been used. The guy bought it with the intention of roasting pigs and then never used it. Definitely check out offer up. Love offer up. Before you go and buy anything. Yeah. Because chances are there's somebody that hasn't even used it. No one had even used that because it was a 
public store manager. It was part of like a promotional yep. deal for the store. I think it said like Bud Light or something on the side it's of it. It says Budweiser on it. And he thought to himself, well, this is probably worth something and we're just throwing it out anyway, so I'm just gonna take it home, but it takes up a lot of room and his wife was like, get that thing out of my garage. And yep. so that's why he got rid of it. Yeah. So, you know, it had never been used. So. Check out Offer Up. So the first time we got, we, we decided to do a pig, and we do it like once a year. And um, I go down, I go to this place called Mary's Ranch down in Miami, I get the pig, I bring it home, and I don't speak Spanish. Uh, right. You know, four years of Spanish in high school, don't remember a lick Donde of Donde esta el baño? I need to bring Rachel or Chris with me. Well, everybody, I mean, they have like a 12 year old kid down there butchering pigs. He comes out, blood all over him, well, is, giant machete. Well, that is it's the a family deal. Well, that is the thing. I, we are all about family businesses. Mm -hmm. I, we're a family business, like with landscaping. And I, we grew, I grew up selling comic books with my family at shows. So, like, family businesses, I am all about it. And the younger the kid, the cuter. Like the whole situation is like, if you see the family that sells Alterna Suites, they're like, you know, warehouse manager is their son that's like 12 years old, right? right. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, out comes the butcher of our hog and he is like a baby with an apron that is way too like 12 years old. big for him, covered in blood, holding a machete. And I'm like, oh my gosh, starting young. So I'm trying to explain to him like, and again, don't speak Spanish, I need it butterflied. They're like, it's all done. It's all done. Go home. It's not done. They didn't butterfly. No. Anybody ever tried butterflying a hog or just a pig? Rachel's like, what are you doing? I've got the <laughs> sawzall. I used the sawzall. I used, what else did I use? I, I went and bought a new sawzall blade. I used the sawzall blade. I had a chisel. And then I finally just got my grinder. Because like, the whole what idea is. What are you doing to this thing? You have to split the spine in half without puncturing through to the skin. So yeah. it is a real, like, you know challenge to get this done it was painful to watch and meanwhile then the next time we went to get one they did it in like 30 seconds i'm like are you kidding me <laughs> like it took me an hour to do that last time <laughs> and a lot of crying there was a lot of crying uh oh chris put up a thing for uh, baby sweet baby rays no sugar added on their website i think they were talking about it at walmart that it might have had it at walmart i know our Publix has it uh, let's see. He said, oh, there, there's Heath's comment. Constance uh, said the only bad ingredient I saw was cornstarch, unfortunately. But there's always some sort of sweetener. I've seen blackstrap molasses and, like, mm -hmm. the best of them. Chris said it has allulose, one net carb per two tablespoon serving. Oh, yeah, nice. but let's, let's be honest. Who's, gonna... who's doing two tablespoons? G g g g g g Right, family said we roasted a whole hog at church. We did that one already. Okay, uh, Patty Epps said I posted pics on, no, we did that one. Like, it's jumping around. <laughs> okay, there you go. Christopher said, and he just jumped. It just moved. I think you need to go down, boo. Renee said I've used an injector and just used melted butter and garlic cloves pushed into the meat. Yeah, I, I do do that. Usually I just take a whole bunch of like the garlic and just throw it inside the Oh, the good, cabinet. yes. So Patty says, yeah, that was me at the farm. I had to get my chick fix. Yes. And you look super cute in that picture, P.S. And while we're talking about pictures, July 4th, I want to see everybody's 4th of July pictures. We are not like... You're not expected to be like, hey, I need to be at my goal weight, my goal size, my goal, whatever it is, right now. Let's take the pictures right now. I was trying to find like a transformation type of photo for um, Instagram when right. I was posting yesterday. Do you know how hard it is for me to even find a picture of me when I was big? There's an entire like 13 years of my life where there's maybe two or three pictures because I never wanted to take a picture because I'm like, I'll take pictures when I look like I want to look. All the fat pictures of me, they're on our website. But there's about that, four of them. But that's your family's childhood and you know, they're, they love you right now where you're at. So, right. and we do too. So wherever you're at in your keto journey, we want to see ya, 4th of July. Ron Ron said, Rachel, I'm obsessed with all things chickens and homesteading. 
Me too. Christopher said, cornstarch was low on the ingredient list too. When I looked up the ingredients for Sweet Baby Ray's prior to it coming out, I didn't like the ingredients, but evidently they've changed. Joe's friend says, yes, more chicken videos. Yes, I cannot wait for them to see their new digs. I think they'll be very, very excited about it. They are the most chillax chickens. A lot of times, my brother doesn't even, like he forgets that they're there. When he comes in to bring shipping over to my house, he's like, oh my gosh. And they'll be like sitting right next to him. Right. And he doesn't even see them because they, they don't really even talk that much. They're pretty quiet. Chris said, too much work. I'll just smoke a pork shoulder, call it good. Actually, Chris, you would do this once and fall in love with it. Like yeah. I want to do it just because it is so much fun and the box can actually do a lot of things i think he can do what was it six turkeys a bunch of different things you need to do six turkeys? but it's literally it's really awesome every, you feel like a pit boss every kid could have their own turkey <laughs> you feel like a pit boss because literally all you really all you do is you're going to put the pig in there okay and then again you put the cover on and we're going to video it then you pour a bag of charcoal on top and light it and then walk away. And then you come back like an hour later with another half a bag of charcoal. Is it so easy Rachel can do it? Yes. We should do a so easy Rachel can. That would be funny. Do the but pig. it's really, really hot. The I mean, you, because now at one point, you finally end up with like over two bags of charcoal burning. So when you go to lift it and lift everything up the, and move things around, it is very hot. The biggest challenge is cooking it in South Florida. Like you're you're thinking to yourself, could it get any hotter in South Florida? Yeah. If you add the fire and, and the charcoal. I think God just loves like making sure that we're not going to have any forest fires or like Everglade it fires. Always it rains. always rains on 4th of July. So we haven't had rain in like over a week. It's just been blistering hot. We had the worst rain this afternoon. He's just laying down water so that fools that don't know how to properly set off fireworks won't burn I've, themselves I've up. been looking at some of the properties being like, oh my God. I mean, I saw our grass. I'm like, it was like hay because it's been so hot. And now all of a sudden, we had like several inches of rain in like 30 minutes. Chris, you God missed the rain. God is good. God is good because you don't want it to be dry on 4th of July. Uh, Chris said, so what Joe is saying is that when you're roasting a whole pig, it's a lot like uh, Schroeder's cat, right? Schroedlinger's cat? Schroedlinger's cat. The rule is, if you are looking, you ain't cooking. <laughs> I love that. The only thing that's hard it, it for me is seeing the pig with its head on. I think it makes the best me part. sad. I'm, I'm just like, can I just cook it like this? And I know that that's so hypocritical, but it's it's all there, it all of it. All it's of head, it. it's eyeballs, little, it's a little feet. Yes, its eyeballs are there. It's feetsies. It reminds me a lot of if you've ever cooked um, sheep's head fish. Has anybody ever fished for sheep's head? No, thank you. Those are well, they're delicious, and they really they're called a sheep's head because if you see their teeth are like a sheep's teeth it is a full set of dentures inside of the that fish mouth and it always would like put put me off to see their little face because it was like they're going for their school yearbook picture lucy said what if you make the moho and omit the sour orange and use lemon juice or apple cider vinegar instead well even the That's lemon juice is going to have a bunch of it, it, that much will have a lot of carbs in it we usually use a half a gallon for a pig. <laughs> we usually just buy it. What, what is it? The the Baja? Yeah. That's he, like the, he he plumps up with yeah, all that he liquid. Plumps up. I think we're going to do the butter. I think we're definitely going to do the butter. I like the butter idea. Right family said the Sweet Baby Ray's is two seventy eight at Walmart. Ooh, that's cheap. That's cheap. I like it. So Wright family said we use a large charcoal grill and we would open it up, smother it in butter, and cooked it for 12 hours. It was delicious. Mmm. That sounds really good. Joe said, I just picked the up the Sweet Baby Ray's at Walmart yesterday. I had a taste. It's pretty good. Haven't had a chance to put it on anything. Okay. First, one of the reasons why we just wanted jumped again. to make sure that we had the barbecue sauce is if you're, like, cooking a pig that just got slaughtered, it tastes different than a pig that you get at a grocery store mm -hmm. 
fresh has a different taste. And it's sad to say that a lot of times we don't like the taste of fresh. Well, we like the I'm taste telling of you, a lot of what you always tasted around. was the mojo, though. You I'm hoping like, you didn't that. didn't like the mojo. But it, there's, a, there's a touch of gaminess to them. And I wanted to make sure that our guests would have, like, some barbecue sauce to put on it. Yeah. Just in case. Oh, Christopher is out of almond flour. He's making my coconut crust now. Yum. Yeah, we, I actually asked for a keto chow um, cr- uh, cheesecake. I kind of forgot about that. To make. Joe said, really for good. the pig, you can use chicken stock and apple cider vinegar. There you go. That's, That's a great idea. That's a good idea. one. Chicken stock, apple cider vinegar, and melted butter. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That, tastes, that sounds really good. That's awesome. Uh, coconut flour isn't my favorite, he said. Uh, Christopher said, I'll bury it with some maple and bacon and cream cheese, uh, hopefully. Hey, if you bury it and maple and cream cheese, I think that I could eat a boot. Uller is saying it's time to go to bed. Shauna What's said, all our devices telling us, bossing us around? Joe versus the Pig Florida Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, it was awful. It was it was really painful to watch. Uh, Jenna said, Walmart has the sugar-free baby rays. I brought some home. It's great. Awesome. Christopher says, if you do it as so easy, Rachel could do it. She needs to lift the pig, too. I probably could. I'm getting I'm getting strong. We, Again, the worst part is... You gotta get is, that big cooler out. Yeah, the worst the part is cooler. just the heat when you... Because at one point, halfway through, you're going to dump the ashes. Because I've got this... It's a special two-tray system so that you never actually open them up. But you can dump all the ashes out. I have a special place to put the ashes. But it's two people. Because, and I have tried to do it as one person. But keep, it is so hot, you really can't. Keep the ashes because my babies love that for their, well, their dirt bath. I generally bath. throw them right where your chicken coop is going. So... They but like I don't. It. I can't put it there until it cools down. So we have that special metal container that they don't cook in until my it chickens. Cools down. Don't cook my chickens. Um, Chris said, "Miriam, you can cook a pig. No way am I doing it." <laughs> Telling you, Christopher said, "If you do it so easy, oh, we, you read that one." Uh, Chris says, "We came back from Florida where it rained every day at 2 p.m. and I kept expecting it to <laughs> rain here, but it didn't. I felt disappointed." <laughs> Oop, it jumped again. It did. Melissa Isn't that said, annoying? we do not get rain this time of year in Las Vegas. Two years ago, the neighbors um, lit our yard on fire with their fireworks, so we keep the hose ready. Yes, we we still we always keep have a hose the out. hose ready. Anthony likes fireworks, but he is like very safe about it. He yeah. pulls a garbage can down. He has a hose out there. We have a special like, you know, pipe thing because you want to plant the firework in something yeah. before it goes And we're off. on a big corner, so like, and we have a field across from us, so we're, we're, we're pretty good. And he doesn't do too much. I mean, he he's really gotten sensible with what he gets. Yeah. Uh, Chris said, the sheephead fish are the original design for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I did not know that. That's interesting. So if you're, uh, he says, if you're cooking barbecue correctly, you should not need any sauce. Sauce is only used to cover up mistakes. Well, again, I'm just afraid that people will not, like, will want something on their yeah. pork. Just in case. Just a backup plan. I'm not going to be putting I, anything on I, my chicharrones. I like a, I like a lot except of. Except for salt. Like shredded pork. I like shredded beef and stuff like that. The ribs nothing are good. In there, but I do like barbecue sauce and pulled pork. I mean, it's half of it's about the sauce, right? I don't want it on my steaks. No, I like or, nothing on a steak. And I, and I, I, I mean, honestly, even like getting watching your mom yesterday. I mean, we we got the steaks smothered with uh, mushrooms and onions, mm-hmm. and like I'm watching you and your mom like more salt, more salt, and like this thing is seasoned so perfectly. How do you taste it? We, I, my salt intake. I just love things salty. Deb said, yes, keto chow, chocolate toppy cheesecake. Joe's recipe, I'm amb- if I'm ambitious, we will make one tomorrow and get uh, one more bite. Uh, non-keto friends at the whole cake, ate the whole cake before I got a slice. I'm last telling time. you, that is something that, like, everybody likes at my house. And I just wanted to have it ready because for my mom's birthday cake. But, yeah, everybody loves that. If you are if you like cheesecake, it is delicious. And the, the chocolate toffee flavor is my favorite. I mean, uh, any, any flavor will work with it. You know, probably not like tomato basil, but... Stephanie wants to know uh, how much gelatin to put in keto chow pudding and exactly uh, and how exactly do you do it? 
Okay, so when I add gelatin to thicken it up, I use about a half a tablespoon. Do it with a blender and don't make the mistake that I made once where I mixed it all up and I'm like, oh, I should add some gelatin to thicken it up and I just put a little bit in the top and then I shook it a little bit and stuck it in the refrigerator. And the next day I went to eat it and I usually don't have a texture issue. Like, I mean, like neither does Rachel, except for if I don't do the, like the worst I thing I crunchy. ever did, the, I think the biggest mistake I ever made was when I tried to make ice cream with coconut oil. Yeah, and it's so like well. it, you're getting wax. It's it's like it's the like stuck to the roof of your roof mouth of your and mouth. stuff like that. Um, so I ended up with like these globs where you would take a bite and it was just nothing. It wasn't flavored. It was just <laughs> gelatin. It it's was like, like little globules of gelatin not mixed in. It reminded me of like eating a candle. Make sure you blend it really, candles. really well. But start off with about a half a tablespoon. But you know what I, I did have and I actually weirdly miss. Did you ever have that thing? It was, remember we got it from your sister. I got it as a like a birthday present or something. And it was this like jar of wax and you would heat it up oh, and then yeah. stick your hands down in there and it was supposed to It was kind of cool. We just played with it. It was supposed to be like, you know, to make your skin right. nice and everything, but of course we we played monster, you know, horror show because you could like encapsulate everything in wax and then like run after people screaming like you were a Scooby Doo monster. But yeah, that's kind of what it reminded me of when you got those coconut globs. There's another trick I can't stand when I see when I pull up on a house that has coconuts. I'm like, there's a surcharge for this house. Coconuts. When I moved to Florida, I'm like, oh, it'd be really cool to have a coconut tree. So I planted one. They were really small. Didn't realize how much work coconut trees different, are. Different, different palm trees have different le levels of work. What is yeah. your least favorite palm tree? Because everybody wants to have a palm tree in in South Florida, but like different ones, like require more. Date palms. They have those big, the big thorns that are about this big and I've put them through my leg a few times. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a couple that are more self-cleaning yeah. than others. Royal palms. Royal palms actually drop all of their branches and you don't have to clean them. But they're big and scary. Yeah. And you don't know when they're going to drop. Right family said our new neighbor's son is not a very nice boy. I hope he's not allowed to light fireworks. Oh no. That's not good. That, that, yeah. It's kind of like driving. I'm not afraid of like yourself, but you're afraid of the other people on the road. Yeah. Like when we got the pirate that yeah. lived down the street from us and set off a cannon. Right what? family said, it didn't bother me when I, when the pig looked right at me while I ate it. It might be, I might be cold hearted. No, I mean, it's, it's doing its job. And you know, I always look at it in the face and thank you. Like, thank you for your, thank you for your service. Chris said, you're supposed to look at it in its cold dead eyes and laugh uh, that you're alive and it isn't. That's what I do with the chickens. I go out and I eat my wings. I'm like, see, you, this is what's going to happen to you. not. He loves those chickens too. Don't let him fool you. Oh my gracious. He, I, I walked out to change the laundry over oh, for the Oh, there was a dead time. palmetto bug about this big this morning on, this, on, the, on the floor in the He's, kitchen. And how tired was I this morning? I stepped right over and let, let one of the animals eat it. And then when I went to get it, Rachel had already picked it up. Did you give it to the chickens yes. or did you throw it out? No, no, I gave it to the chickens. They absolutely love bugs. Now there's Rachel? no bugs because they go, they will run after any bug that even gets into the garage. But I go out to change over the laundry and he's talking baby talk to these chickens. It's like, what are you doing? Hey, cutie. Like he, like the high pitched dad voice. You're not supposed to tell anybody that. It's true. Chris said, when we were in Florida, I kept seeing these giant red splotches on the road. I thought it was roadkill. You get that with deer in Utah. Nope, it was the date palms. Yes, they dropped their like seeds. Yeah. Gigi Girl says, are the chicks still babies or are they chickens No, now? they're pretty big. They're pretty big. Can I bring one in? We're getting off. Okay. We've been off for I'm gonna, an hour and 13 gonna, minutes. I'll bring one in. Hurry up. You gotta see, cause they're, they're getting super big. Shauna said, last year for the fourth, I made a keto lemon cream cheese, keto lemon cream cheese pound cake. It was amazing. Everyone keto and non-keto eaters loved it. Chris, cat, cat, cat. Cat left. Uh, let's see. Janice said, uh, to us, barbecue is with sauce. 
where the sauce is thick on the meat. Without sauce, it's just grilled meat. I kind of go both ways. I like sauce on my meat, but I don't want too much. I used to really douse it. Now I'm all about the flavor of the meat and the seasoning. Chris said, right family, turns out that fat tastes good. Uh, ooh, Gigi Girl grows uh, hostels. I did not know that. She's probably chasing a chicken around out there. Steph said, would it work if you heat the water and dissolve the gelatin and then mix it with the keto chow? Um, usually what I do now is I take, I add the gelatin like right when I'm right before I add the keto chow because I'm doing it with butter. So it's, everything's usually going to be already warm, but you don't want to boil it. I told, I told them the first person who comes gets to go on. So the first person that showed up was Shiloh. She's more, she's a little bit louder than most of the Do you know how ones. much work it's going to be to get this tablecloth that's covered in glitter off of here you know, when she poops on my tablecloth? Yes. Which like you probably all of these computers will. and everything? They're very poopy now. But look how big they're getting. She's actually the small she's one. She's actually one of the small ones, but she was like the first, one of the first ones to, to come. I said, whoever comes out first gets to gets to go on camera. I'm gonna put a paper behind yeah, her. Yeah, like that's gonna really work. <laughs> because it's a splash zone. It's right? gonna really work. Yes. Chick, chick, chick. Aren't they getting big? And now you're, you're the dog is like, um, this chicken's in my realm now. Yes, you're doing so good. Look at everybody. They wanted to say hi to you. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So Shauna said last, oh wait, I read that one already. Lucy said, I hope it's the fluffy butt chicken. It is. It, this is actually not, not a fluffy butt not. chicken, but like, look at, she is feathering out Heath really well. He wants to know if they're big enough to barbecue. One of them is. One of them is. If I can get Ruth, like sh when you see well, Ruth, we're getting off, you'll so. be amazed. Lucy said, I guess my chicken illiteracy is showing. Oh uh, my goodness. That's a longer chicken. That's yeah. No, no longer a chick. Yeah. She's getting so big. They all are, but Ruth is huge. The Brahmas are really getting big. Chris said, I bet $5 of that chicken poops. <laughs> we're, trying, we're hopefully not. Yeah, so you're not going to poop. You're going to be really good. Uh, Gail said, oh my goodness, that's no longer a chicken. <laughs> Miriam said, beautiful Shiloh. <laughs> She's so good, yes. She's definitely the most adventurous of them all. She's the, always like the first out, and she always is like pushing the boundary of the garage area, like where am I allowed to explore, right? <laughs> where am I allowed to explore? Okay, so I think we're all caught up. Shauna says, surprise Rachel doesn't have chicken diapers for visits in the house. She already made a comment she wants to let them start running throughout the house. I do, and the thing is is that we have a lot of tile and wood and not um, carpet, so it's not like a huge issue. Yeah, and Charity is completely fine to be in the room with the chicken because you can see this chicken beak. Like, she could totally take Charity now. So, she is not worried about Charity. <laughs> Look at Charity's, like, disdain. <laughs> like, she's so over it. Charity actually just goes out and stares in the, in the pen thing, so. Shiloh's like, Mom. So, okay. We're going to get off before <laughs> she's Gigi Girl said everything's better with butter. Oh, okay. So you want to get up? Oh, oh, shit. oh now it's all over here. <laughs> With <laughs> that, we're going to get off. That was disgusting. <laughs> we're going to go clean. Guys, thank you so much for joining our live stream. Uh, don't forget to check us out for our final live Heat on the Couch on Monday. Again, down below is the links for... Uh, if you're interested in getting the, oh, if you're interested in get, on my thing, I hope you're cleaning all this. I'm totally going to clean it. If you're interested in getting the uh, kettle and fire, the lollies, as well as the perfect keto. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.